Greetings, true believers. Now it's time to assemble your very best deck and traverse the multiverse in Marvel's adrenaline-fueled strategic card battler, Marvel Snap. And here to tell us all about the collectible card game is Ben Brode. How are you, Ben? I'm doing fantastic. I'm so happy to have you here. Oh, snap. I We have a lot to talk about, all right? We have so much to talk about now. Now, what do you think it is? First off, right off the top, what do you think it is about the Marvel Universe that kind of uh, lends itself well to this form of gameplay? Well, the, the thing I love most about Marvel is mm -hmm. the iconic heroes and villains. Yeah. And with Marvel Snap, we really focused in on that you know, part of the Marvel Universe. So every card represents a hero and villain, and then you get to traverse the locations that are iconic in the Marvel Universe. Uh, it really is a perfect fit for the Marvel Universe. Now, speaking of the game, so a Marvel Snap deck uh, contains uh, 12 cards and lasts six turns. Yep. Uh, and I want you to kind of, can you break down like the overall uh, tactical choices a player can make uh, from there? Yeah, so at, at the start of the game, there's three locations, mm -hmm. and you're job is to win all three locations and you're playing cards that you got to choose which of these three locations am i going to invest my resources in and which am i just going to say look you're going to win those ones because if you win two out of three of those locations by the end of the game then you've won the game the game's only yeah. six turns long so while you're thinking about what you want to do on your turn i'm thinking about what i want to do on my turn and we're playing simultaneously we reveal our choices to each other simultaneously the game's super fast six turns is not that long the game's over in like three to five minutes Whoa, that's nuts. So, so uh, what, what's like the overall goal uh, a player has, like when they are on the battlefield? Is it to win those two games? And yeah, so each location does something different. Each mm -hmm. of them has like a unique effect. And in every game, the locations you see are, are totally new and different. And so, you know, even if you're used to playing the game a bunch, every time you play, you're faced with new strategic challenges to try and figure out, okay, how am I going to win the game at the Baxter build, building and Nova Roma and Xandar? That's a totally unique set of locations. How am I going to use my cards to defeat my opponent's deck in this, in this new way? But yeah, just play your cards in, in a way that, you know, you ideally want to get just a little bit more power than your opponent at the two locations that matter most to you. That's going to win you that game. Now I'm I'm looking at the decks right here. We have just like just like a variety of different characters that span the entire Marvel uh, universe. Uh, so can you kind of describe like which character, what type of characters are we going to see? Are we going to see like the entire multiverse characters that we may not be too familiar with? Uh, like look at that that Venom looks very interesting. Like <laughs> I'm so like the art direction. Like you all just went wild with this. Like, yeah. can, can you describe like the art direction? We, a we bit? have absolutely incredible artists on this game and it does span the entire Marvel multiverse. Not only do we have like every character you can imagine mm -hmm. from, from Marvel, we have characters that you may never have heard of like the Infinite or Leech or some, some kind of, you know, deep, I've heard of the Infinite. <laughs> well, how dare you? <laughs> uh, but uh, we also are exploring way beyond the kind of the core Marvel, Marvel universe into different multiverses we have tons of these uh variants which are either maybe different costumes for characters you love different art styles of those characters you love or or those characters from you know kind of what if experiences what if cosmo you know was infected by the venom symbiote right, right. we have all yeah. that kind of stuff going on as well yeah because I, I noticed uh, uh i noticed the uh the guardians of the galaxy they they there was like a six, 16 bit uh versions yeah, of yeah. them so so that's just like a variant of the same character now does it play different in the game no it's just a cosmetic uh change so you can collect we really, when I when I was a kid, we used to go to the comic book store and get packs of Marvel trading trading cards, mm -hmm. and I, I had different ones than my my brothers or my friends. And we would trade, and I loved the experience of just having a unique collection that nobody else had. And so with Marvel Snap, we really wanted to do the same thing. You don't get all the cards in Marvel Snap. You slowly earn the cards over time, and you also earn these cosmetic variants of the cards. And so my collection is gonna look really different than your collection. Your mm -hmm. cards look different. You might have different cards than me. You might be able to build different decks than I do. That's core to the experience of Marvel Snap. Now, you're no stranger to card battlers. Uh, you worked on Hearthstone. I'm kind of curious, how much influence did your work on Hearthstone have uh, on Marvel Snap? Well, I, 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 look, I learned a ton about making card games through my career, and uh, we really wanted to make a game that was easy to play for a, a bunch of people who've never tried card games before. It's, uh, it's really rewarding to be able to grow the card game genre and introduce like a ton of new people to this card. I love card games. I've been playing card games for 20 plus years, and I think Marvel Snap is the kind of game that even if you've never played a card game ever before, it's so easy to learn. It's so fast. It's, it's uh, 
It's exactly the kind of game I love to make. Yeah, not only that, if, I feel like if you have like a, a, a very, like a, an appreciation for just like the Marvel Universe and Marvel comics, I feel like you're gonna love this game. You also have, there's voice acting as well yeah, in, in yeah. the game. And when you throw down a card, there's special effects that, that occur. Uh, that honestly, when I first saw it, I'm, I'm gonna be very honest with you, Ben. I, I was like, okay, I'm not, I, I'm not super enthusiastic about card games. When I saw Marvel Snap, I was like, I'm in. I, <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, I am in. Like th there's, there's no way you're taking me out of this. I'm throwing down a couple of cards because I really, I really want, want to participate in this. And uh, this, I feel like this is definitely going to be like this might be some people's like first foray into into this genre of of gaming. Uh, and I'm super excited because it's attached to an IP that I that's been a part of my life for so many years. Yeah, um, it is so much fun to work on a Marvel game. It's, yeah, you know, you, describe that. How like because like. <laughs> When, ma like marrying these two two things, like your love of card games and your love of Marvel, like what's that experience been like for you? Uh, it's been incredible. So when we first set out on this journey, like you know, we're we're a new company. This is our first game, mm -hmm. and uh, we were just so fortunate that Marvel uh, took a chance on us and really believed in us and gave us this opportunity to work in in, in the play in the Marvel playground. Mm -hmm. uh, and and it's there's something really fun about taking a Marvel character who you just know from you know, your childhood and and trying to come up with a card design that really captures the essence of that character. So when we were designing Nightcrawler, Nightcrawler you could play to one location, but then you could bamf him over to a different location later in the game. You can kind of teleport somewhere else. It really feels like Nightcrawler and it's a ton of strategic depth to try and figure out, you know, fake out your opponent and pretend you're gonna go somewhere and then go to a different location later on in the game. And it's uh, Rogue, you know, could steal the power from another card. There, Gambit throws a card from your hand and destroys an enemy card on the other side. And uh, it's it's so much fun because everyone knows these characters. Everyone knows what they do. And then seeing them in card form is just a, a treat. Yeah, that's funny. You can get kind of meta with Gambit because he... he... <laughs> He yes. throws cards, yeah. and he's he's now in card form yeah. throwing cards. Yeah, he's, he's my favorite Marvel character that's, because of the because that, of the cards. Yeah, that's insane. <laughs> I really want to see how Gambit plays out because of that. Because it's like, will he throw himself? Because he is in in <laughs> essence a card, so he could technically throw himself. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, now, so as far as like updates are concerned, like uh, how often can like gamers expect to kind of see like new releases rolling out? Well, we want to we want Marvel Snap to be the card game that releases content faster than any other card game. So we want to release a new location every single week. And new locations really change up the game because they introduce new rules and new challenges to solve. you got to build your deck a little differently to take advantage of today's hot location. And uh, we want to release a new card every week and have something new for players to collect and, and new deck ideas that are percolating. It really changes the meta of which decks people are playing. But uh, yeah, it, it's, it's important, I think, that games feel fresh and exciting all the time. And that's like top of mind for us on Marvel Snap. Yeah, and, and honestly, I feel like Marvel Snap is super duper refreshing. One last question before we, we, we roll out. Um, I got to ask you this. Marvel Snap, where did the name come from? <laughs> like, well, is it a Thanos reference? I'm, like, I'm kind of curious. Where did the name come from? Yeah, it's, we love the, the reference to, you know, the, the, the broader Marvel IP that way. But yeah. also, Snap is such a, a fast game. You could play really quickly we love the visceral sound of the word and it's also a snap to learn how to play it's so easy to learn it's uh it, it's it's the best card game to try if you've never tried a card game before well ben i'm i'm already in and i want to thank you for sitting down and talking to me about it um uh, you're making me want to throw my card i just threw my card <laughs> look at that everybody <laughs> Look at that. Ben, thank you so much for joining us and you at home. Let us know what you think down in the comment section. And don't forget to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.